Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. We are at the start of a brand new year. So first of all, wishing you guys a happy new year and hoping it goes great. We had a lot of people who had ups last year and a lot of people had downs. Um, with some aspects going on last year that had kind of just happened. Others that not so much. Anyway, I digress. I was hoping to take this time to kind of reflect on the past year for me. Honestly, as lengthy as the year felt for me, it was probably... No, not probably. It was definitely the most eventful and the best of the 27 years I've been alive as of this recording. Maybe by the time I look back on this, I'll, I'll be like 60 years old. I'll be like, nah, I have others that are better. But as of right now, 2021 definitely sits to be one of my best, most eventful years. It did feel very lengthy because of the fact that there were new variants of uh, COVID coming out, but even w with that said, it never really pestered me too much, mainly because I took care of myself, everyone around me took care of themselves, all my friends, all my family. Everyone who I cared the most about never came across it once, because of how well they took care of themselves and the fact that they took every precaution recommended by the CDC and outward, all of those precautions were taken. So I can at least brush that aspect of the past year aside. The year, just going through the year, let's start at the beginning. January was very much a very down falling month for me um i had found out that some of the people who i thought i knew were only pretty much turning against me um this cumulate cu cumulated out to like three or four individuals at the same time um and this spanned throughout the first three months of the year. It was just downfall after downfall after downfall to the point where my brain started to not be able to handle it. The only, honestly, the only people who were the reason I was able to keep my own at all in any kind of degree later on, the later months more than the earlier ones, the only people who were the reason for that were Aaron uh d9 and my parents i don't know if my brother or my sister ever had involvement of what was going on so i can't really shout them out and at the time i did not know uh amber at all so i can't really shout out someone i don't even know yet but don't trust me we'll we'll get to that very very quickly after the month of march by past um things were dry um, I was single. Mentally, physically, in any kind of form, I barely was trying as I was sitting on the side watching other individuals go into relationships through the one means that I never liked. Dating websites. I think the one that was th th there. There are several uh, situations that I can get to, into in a future reference that kind of core on this, but I guess there were a couple individuals I knew who were just like doing pretty well and or okay with what they had, be and they at least had someone. At the time, the only ones I really had already were with others, and I didn't want to interfere with that. I've always been the kind of person to do that. 
one of these individuals was Amber. At the time, she was with someone else. Um, and I wanted to respect that. Actually, there came a point where I had moved here for a first point in time, and... Amber, me, and a couple others were planning on going to the pool area that's in the complex that I live in. I was unaware of this, but Amber was getting changed in here. And I walked in, and no top. I pretty much immediately turned around and closed the door, because I did not realize this. I thought if she was doing that, she was like in the bathroom or something. She was being pretty dead silent at the time. In any case, yeah. It, it kind of shows what, what, what I mean when I say I try to respect other people's privacy. If I was to walk in on somebody who was either changing or something like that, you, you bet your bottom dollar I'd leave like that fast. Um, so that happened. Anyway, of course, that one time was one of the very first times I started to realize that Amber wasn't doing so hot with what she had. And I started to realize how consistent it actually was. However, this is not my story to entirely tell, so I'm going to skip the details on this one. I will say this, though. Uh, this is when I really started to jump in and care for her like I would anybody else. If somebody was struggling, I would be there for them. Whether a friend, like Aaron. He's a really close friend, but a friend nonetheless. Uh, or, you know, someone like Amber, or my family. Um... I would step in pretty much immediately for someone like that. Um, at the time, I did have a crush on Amber, but I was still trying to be respectful of that relationship she had. So, um, I did step in, but more in a friendly manner. In a loving, caring manner, but still kind of in a friendly manner at the same time. If that makes sense. Anyway, from there forward, things started to become more and more clear to me that I did, in a way, have a chance with the woman who I thought I didn't, just because she was getting pushed away more and more. Again, this is not my story to tell. That's why I'm being very vague about it. In fact, that's the last detail I'm going to talk about that. Eventually, Amber pretty much admitted feelings to me big time, and it we kind of started being together with the other relationship she had ending. Now, many people go, oh, you were only together for a blank amount of time? That's not long enough. Eh, I've met people who have been together for like two months and got proposed to. At least when she and I were together, it had been a few months. It had been... Eh, not much longer, but still... Regardless, things really started to kick up on exactly July 7th of that past year, of, la of 2021, um, where I actually proposed to her, and she said yes. Every day after that was like even more eventful. The days were long, yes, but not for the reason that you might think. It was more long in the sense that it was actually enjoyably long, if that makes sense. Basically, if it doesn't, then basically the idea is, yes, there was a lot to do. I had a lot going on. I was spending a lot of time with people, whether it was Aaron and Amber, just Aaron, just Amber, doesn't matter, sometimes even with my family which has been a way more consistent as of late as well, um, which I'm really happy about, actually. But I'll get to that on another date. Um, within the last two or three months of the year, Amber and I were talking about preparations for weddings. 
I will admit, there have been hiccups along the way, but within those hiccups, there's something I learned. I personally, at least, and I think Amber kind of saw it too at the same time I did, the faults that both of us have, because everyone has faults, I mean, come on. We found them and figured them out and found a way to avoid collision with these faults. Everyone does. Everyone has, you know, something. For me, well, the amount of detail I go... For me, a good example of this is the amount of detail I go into. I'm a detailed person, but that detail can sometimes cause problems. There are some circumstances where you don't want to go into detail about things and just go, yes or no. Instead of, yes, because blah, 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 blah. That's, I'm not going to go into detail about that because, like I said, I don't think it's necessary. Um, but I digress. Within the past few months, which is the last of the year, um, and w w with, within the time space between uh, July 7th, let's go off of that. Within the time space of July 7th and now, um, January, so the time space between July 7th, 2021, and now, January 1st, New Year of 2022, a lot has happened. And not just between me and Amber either. As far as Amber and I go specifically, we have a set date when we're going to get married. We ha are in the process of doing invites specifically to those who we have in mind. Uh, we're still in the process of actually officially physically making the invites, but we are going to send them out very soon, hopefully, <laughs> if we haven't yet, which I don't know. We'll see. Maybe by the time this upload actually goes up, we already have, but if not, then it's going to definitely be soon. But one way or the other, um, we've definitely tied any loose ends on any negativities We've tied the loose ends on positive aspects. When it comes to anything else that went out throughout the year, well, there actually was one thing that I discussed some point in the year um, where my PlayStation 4 actually got... I'm not going to say hacked because the way it went about... It, somebody must have gotten into my apartment and gotten into the system and changed things. To be fair, that one was on me because I did not have a passcode on it. I did not have any kind of security set up. I do now, and since I did, nobody has changed anything. So it was kind of a given that somebody broke into the apartment and did that. It had already been taken care of. I got my money back um, for it very quickly and very tediouslessly. Like, there was no stress amongst it um, uh, other than the annoyance of somebody basically stealing over $500 from me for the sake of games on a system that the person, whoever it was, I guess, played more often than not. I don't know. Anyway... Regardless, there was that, and that kind of hiccuped a lot of events. It caused me to remove a lot of content off my channel because I felt it was just... I went through a couple of things that were just incomplete and couldn't be completed because of this aspect, and I had to remove a lot of... As I was removing those, I actually went through other things that just didn't really float, suit the channel anymore just because of where they were. The layout of the presentation but i'm representing them anyway one of them being done right now actually um either way though that event happened and during that event though one of the things that has become maybe it's because of covid or thanks to covid as well i don't know but one thing that had been the reason I bring that up is because because everything was kind of altered, data was removed from every single profile. 
because the one that got hacked was the one that bought everything. So I had to pretty much redo everything on every file, which is kind of annoying, but at the same time, it allowed me to relearn some aspects about some, my current friends and my fiance. It allowed me to spend more time with them in discussion manner. I'd be there, yes, fidgeting with getting through these things that I've already done before. Well, for some of them. But I'd also be conversing with others. In the process of doing this, and, and the others would always be, by the way, Aaron and Amber. Um, it's been a constant hangout thing recently for us, too. We've gotten to know each other. We're... Aaron is basically like a brother to Amber and I now. And he's basically, I mean... I've said it before, I do want him to be on this channel more. He has been on it before, multiple times, and I do want him to be on it more. He did give off some good ideas for channel content that I might just hand the camera over at a point in, because I know he likes doing that kind of stuff, and I might let him, like, if he wants to, I might actually let him do that kind of thing as well. I don't know, this train's got to be run by multiple people sometimes. Anyway, that's a topic for another day. We would hang out. Aaron would do some stuff on there. He ha he actually has an official uh, profile on my system as well. I don't mind it at all. And, I mean, we're going to have another year before, or at least six months. We're going to have another five or six months before we're going to have to worry about any other kind of stuff. And given the pace the past few months have been, that, that's going to last a long time, so I'm not too concerned. Either way around, though, I'm not going to worry too much about it. I guess, mm, as far as the rest of the year goes, that's pretty. that pretty much sums it up. Go to work, create this wonderful content for you guys. Um, check for any comments, and if there are some, I'd either heart them or and and or respond to them um i have pretty much come to terms with the pattern that i officially want for this channel which is one of these type of videos and well you'll see in two hours what the second one always is if you haven't yet that's definitely going to be consistent regardless Either way around, though, yeah, it's going to be quite the adventure to see where this channel goes from here and where my life goes from here. There's already a lot planned. So hopefully things go very well. If not, well, after experiencing the past year, I have a lot of faith that with my parents, my brother, my sister, um... Amber and Aaron all by my side. I and Danny as well, actually. Which I need to get in touch with them at some point if I haven't by this upload by the upload date for this. Um, to see if he wants to hang out at some point. I've been meaning to, but he and I have just been so busy. That's another thing that I have to bring up. Like hangouts are very hard to do if one end is always busy when the other end is not. <sighs> which is Something that just constantly happened last year as well. That's another thing to reminisce on. I always seem to put myself in a position where I'm always busy. Like, literally always. This is the one time, one of rare times, where my TV is not on. My TV usually is on either from hanging out with someone or grinding for the sake of my channel. Which, once I'm done with this recording, you can bet your bottom dollar I'm going to be doing that kind of grinding. Anyway, I don't know. Outside of everything I've listed, this past year, very eventful. I spent Thanksgiving, my first Thanksgiving with my fiance, one of many. Um, I spent my first Christmas with her. And as much as this particular Christmas was me spending the night with the night before with my parents and her spending the night before with her parents, the rest of the Christmas was together. And my parents had pretty valid reason why. They wanted it to be like 
the last Christmas where they get to spend it with, you know, me as a single person is the way they worded it. Technically, I know in a relationship isn't technically is technically the title, but at the same time, I know they don't consider it that, which I understand. Not many people do. As a non-married individual, let's put it that way. They wanted to spend this Christmas, they wanted me to be there, just me, as a non-married individual one last time. And Amber completely got it too. It gives her a chance to go do the same thing for her parents one last time. Um, she actually approached it very well, which I guess was something that my, uh, uh, some, there were, I, I, I'm not going to say who, but there was a family member who seemed like they weren't expecting that. But she's very lighthearted. She is. Which is something I'm grateful for about her. Um, regardless, though, that was pretty much the end of the year there. There were a lot of gaps where base in between each time were basically the idea of hangouts every other night and then just kind of the routine of wake up, go to work, come home from work. The Like the day job for me. And then work on this um then get off go to bed and then rinse and repeat unless you include the aspect of you know hanging out but otherwise that's pretty much the pattern that's gone through the entire year and honestly as long as the year has felt it's a length that it's it's one of those few years where I'm glad it lasted as long as it did because it allowed me to experience the experiences I did for much longer than expected. Anyway, with that said, I think that's enough reminiscing of 2021. So, I don't know. How did your guys' year last year go? Good? Bad? If bad, you don't have to say. But if it went well, what did you guys experience? If you... Don't mind talking about it anyway you want to say anyway why not let me know in the comments below as well um just try to keep it lighthearted, please um i do respond as much as i can if i see any kind of hate or any kind of negativity i don't like keeping that down there just because it kind of ruins the whole experience for other people but if you would like to talk about it or if it's something just like a reach out kind of thing trust me video coming for that very soon anyway gonna head off thanks again for watching this video everyone if you liked it make sure to push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore that was further than i normally do i'm actually seated back a little bit more than normal but if you really liked it consider subscribing to the channel got a suggestion for something you'd like me to talk about this year let me know in the comments below as well. Or want to check out any other kind of stuff that I've done on this channel. Um, click the link on this side for a discussion rant video. Because I guess that's technically what this is. It's kind of a venting rant thing. Or if that doesn't float your boat. Why not check out the link on this side. Where YouTube will tell you something that you might enjoy. In the meantime. I'm going to head off. Thanks again for watching this video everyone. And I hope to see all of you. In another within this year. Happy New Year, everyone, and see you guys later.